It's a really exciting time in downtown Boise because we're seeing this evolution of the downtown core from you know, Gardner and Company's development of the Zion Bank building on Main Street and you know, everything that's going on with the Clearwater building and the Public Transportation Center across the street from there next to the U.S. Bank building, uh, event centers, hotels. I think. So Boise's downtown is extraordinarily walkable. It's walkable, it's bikeable, it's very friendly to those aspects of, of transportation and moving around. It's not an extraordinarily huge downtown, you know, like an LA or a Seattle. Uh, it's really easy to get around and it's, pretty, it's a very safe downtown where families feel good, you know, people of all ages can go enjoy the shops, enjoy the farmers markets. It's no wonder why downtown Boise is, is perennially now on top 10 lists. So, I just saw today actually a new list from Expedia.com came out that listed Boise's downtown as one of the coolest downtowns in North America. There's a lot of things from a cultural perspective and an artistic perspective that people love about downtown Boise. So there's a live after five. Uh, you know, great opportunity for families and people to go downtown, hang out on 8th Street and, and have a couple drinks and have good food and listen to good music. Boise State's campus is just across the Boise River from downtown. And Boise State's campus and Boise State University is a tremendous part of the growth and, and dynamic aspect of being in downtown Boise. It is a growing university and it's the mission of the university to really become a metropolitan research university of distinction. And I think that you know, the President Custer and all the people down there have done a great job of making that a reality. And it's been interesting to watch how that flows into downtown you know, with the jobs and the education and the minds that are coming to the Boise Valley because of the university. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Boise as a whole's economy was really driven by several large corporate you know, entities, corporate companies, and it was, it was Trust Choice and it was HP. You know, at the time, Micron had almost 12,000 employees you know, in the 1990s, and then we saw this dramatic shift where a lot of those big corporations either went away or downsized. And so Boise, I think, for a while was kind of floundering trying to find where we were going to be as an economy and what was really going to, you know, to lift us to the next level and get us back to where we needed to be. We're seeing that now developing, and it's primarily developing in downtown Boise in the form of our tech sector. So Boise, Idaho, and specifically Idaho, is the second largest or second fastest growing um, tech sector, tech area, tech market in the country. So it's our tech uh, industry around here is very, very vibrant. It's extraordinarily dynamic. It's growing quickly, and it's a big part of why there's so many jobs coming to downtown Boise. Boise actually has a, a green belt that runs all the way through town and it runs from Lucky Peak Reservoir you know, which is to the east of Boise and, and far to the east of downtown and it runs all the way through Boise's downtown, all the way through Boise out to suburb, suburb areas like Eagle, Meridian. Uh, so the Boise Green Belt runs through downtown Boise and it's a fantastic uh, way for people to get out and experience nature, experience Boise's walkability, how open it is and just everything that the river has to offer. And then of course the Green Belt will also go through a lot of our park system. So Boise has over five parks just in the downtown corridor itself. From Ann Morrison Park, Julia Davis Park, Camelsback Park, you know, and the Ann Frank Memorial, and Esther Simplot Park, which is a dynamic and amazing new whitewater rafting and surfing facility uh, on the west part of downtown. So much Boise's downtown has to, has to offer. It's really impossible to go through and name all the things. People have to come here and experience it for themselves. And I think when they do, they realize that it's very special, it's very unique, and it's something that you can't find anywhere else in the country. Mm -hmm.